Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be from now to the end of May 2021 as I am releasing these a little bit early for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the month. What do we have for Pisces? Money and career only, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides, May 2021 on the table thank you thank you so we have the hanging man pisces i'm going to pull on uh, another card with that one so we have the king of swords So what do we have for Pisces, please? In money and career, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. May 2021, thank you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Happiness. I like the butterfly representing transformation. Transformational happiness here. Okay. Message for Pisces, please. Angels, Spirits Guides message for our lovely Pisces thank you that flew out so we have positivity faith and optimism you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on keep the faith and keep going very nice okay so those are the key messages for you in terms of money, career, Pisces. Let's pull some tarot cards and see what we get. So I'm using classic Rider Waite with this reading. So I'm going to pull five cards, Pisces, starting with your challenge position. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Money, career only thank you angel spirits guides for may 2021 message for pisces thank you may 2021 money and career yeah the eight of swords in your challenge position Ace of Cups is what's going for you. Obstacles to overcome, three of wands. Advice from Spirit, nine of swords. Outcome Pisces, <laughs> we've got the four of wands. Okay. Pisces. I've started doing these at the end of the reading, but I feel like I need to go the, to these now. Something is playing out, you know, but the hanged man is a card of alignment, aligning you to where you need to be. Can be to do with inspiration, light bulb moments, moments of lucidity where things haven't been clear. It feels in this situation, you might have been in a period of limbo, feeling stuck. You know, we can experience hanging man energies. It can be to do with health affecting our money and career, it can be to do with changes in our money, career, finance itself that make us feel in periods of limbo, job loss, um, you know, delays, you know, you know, things that, you know, could be the pandemic, for example, things where you feel in um, feeling limbo. However, there's definitely a message if you don't see it right now, but you will with the King of Swords because he is all about mental clarity. So it feels like the answer, the information, the wisdom, the clarity is coming to you this month. And it might well be, there's just something that needs to play out here, Pisces. There's an energy here of something needs to play out. Uh, so there may well be some waiting or still feeling in limbo. It feels for part of May. But then there is the clarity that you seek that is coming your way. It could be from an Aquarius, um, you know, air sign, the king of swords, male or female energy, somebody who is 
you know, very, very, very clever, intellectual, a strategist, a visionary. But it, it definitely feels in this energy, you don't see it now, but you will. And what it's linked with, you know, you might have been staying positive, trying to stay optimistic in the hanged man situation because I've put that directly under that card. But it feels in this situation there is happiness coming your way, reasons to be happy. So it feels like whatever clarity that you're getting is very linked with transformational happiness. Um, very beautiful energy. And I like the fact that the Ace of Cups has appeared in what's going for you because that is a really happy energy. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Yes. Mm. Swords is to do with our mind, how we perceive something, you know, and this person just doesn't see how to move forward. You know, it's never going to happen. Things are beyond my control. It's negative thinking that keeps us trapped prisoner. But it can also be how the external world can affect our mental energy to the point where we just think negatively. And it's inhibited thinking. It's inhibited energy as well. Um, but the beautiful thing is, in the challenge position, you are, have the opportunity to release from that now. Um, and it definitely feels this positive faith and optimism. Just keep that in mind in this kind of energy, because this can be when we're so much in our own head, you know, that we don't see the wood for the trees. And I'm seeing that because I've got the Eight of Swords and I've got the Nine of Swords here as well. I love this. So the Ace of Cups is linked to a new beginning. It is a door that opens for you that allows the beginning of new emotional happiness, emotional rebirth, first and foremost. You are being filled. You are the chalice and you are being filled with love and light by the universe. This is the hand of God offering you this new door. Um, can be linked with creative opportunities. So, you know, expressive energy. So, yes, I would say, you know, things like publishing, media, entertainment, culture, writing, um, uh, arts, you know, that kind of energy it can be linked with. But it can be just something that is absolutely connected to your heart, some kind of offer, an opportunity, a new door that's opening, that is bringing new happiness your way. So I love that energy. So don't think, oh, it's never gonna happen. It is definitely an energy of, yes, it is. There is definitely this new door opening for you. The challenge to overcome is, it's not quite there yet, but it's coming. The steps that you have been taking, this is about staying in your power with the three of wands to bring growth, expansion, the beginnings of the first signs of success. You can see the ships are coming in, but they're not quite in the harbor yet, but there's something good coming your way. And I feel that's manifesting with this Ace of Cups. But there may well be, like I said, with the Hanging Man, there could be a period of just waiting, waiting to hear, waiting to see what happens, but certainly in the power of keep on taking action to make it happen. Uh, this person isn't just you know, standing there, it's an action energy, you know, the Three of Wands is about manifesting a new path. Yeah. Now, for some of you, it could be, not for all of you, but some of you, you might be looking to distant opportunities, overseas opportunities. Um, yeah, so it might well be there some kind of distant opportunities that you're looking towards as well. The advice from spirit is, yeah, you, I mean, the nine of swords, like I said, when we allow the negative to control us, Mars in Gemini, when we allow the negative to control us, that's all we see, hear, think. And it becomes that self-fulfilling prophecy of creating this illusion of negativity that's created by our own minds. The message here is, yes, you have been dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, 
But all the time, Pisces, you have been covered with that blanket. The universe is protecting you. Uh, you are being watched over. You are being shown divine love this month. So there's definitely an energy of stay in your power. Don't let that Mars energy be destructive for you. This is, the, this is using the Mars energy to stay in your power, to believe that your actions will deliver results because there's definitely an energy of the results are coming with this. And we go from a three to a four. And the four in tarot is all about stability, security, foundation. And the four of wands is, I mean, it's the happy home card. So it could be happiness for you and for, you know, your relationship, your property, your home. But this is also very good, Pisces. It's a celebratory energy. It is also a card of a milestone achievement. Yeah, it's not just linked to the happy home. It is a card of a significant milestone, uh, reaching a significant milestone that is bringing some level of foundation into your life. So it definitely feels like there's celebration here with the Four of Wands. It feels very, very beautiful here. It's a card of joy, harmony, and finally just being able to relax a little bit you know relax so it, it feels something is happening here between this three and four um, that is just allowing you to get back that joy have some small it feels like some small significant achievement or celebration here um a milestone you know it's it's a landmark moment for you it feels some kind of landmark moment and this is why you're being told you don't see it now, but you will, you will, you will get that clarity. So try not to be in too much in your own head this month because it's your mind that can work against you. This is about staying true, standing in your power, carrying on manifesting what you have your sights on because there is the new door opening for you. This is what's going for you, the cup of joy. Very nice energy. So I'm going to pull uh, a card for that Four of Wands. Let's clarify this Four of Wands, please, for Pisces. Thank you. Let me just shuffle. Let's clarify this Four of Wands for Pisces. Thank you. Yeah, we have the seven of wands, which can be to do with it's, it's standing for what you know to be right, what you know to be true. You know, it's a card of perseverance, determination. And this person, even though they are faced with six against one, six ones against that one person, they are getting on top of a situation. I feel that there is some kind of milestone um, something that's bringing in joy here that makes you feel gosh yes finally i am getting in the right direction i'm going in the right direction and finally there's some kind of something that's happening here that is just allowing me to just relax and i definitely feel for some of you it is to do with something new that's happening that is bringing greater happiness into your life it feels very, very beautiful because we have transformational happiness here. Um, so, yeah, it just feels like some milestone, uh, possibly celebratory energy here. But it's by somebody who has been persevering, determined to get on top of a situation that has been a challenge in their head to get on top of. Um, but the perseverance will pay off here definitely feels like there is some significant milestone that you're reaching this month. I'll also say Pisces, during this period of challenge and perseverance, this is also the 1111 card. And I did say to you, didn't I, that you are being shown love by the universe. The 1111 is people you've lost to the other side, 
um, angel spirits guides as well are sending you blessings signs symbols messages you are being watched over and 11 11 is all about manifestation as well so it feels it feels for some of you this manifesting energy is bringing in some it feels some kind of small success um milestone landmark moment for you you know where you just feel yes finally i'm getting on top of this okay so what do we have for pisces please angel spirits guides message for pisces money career only thank you may 2021 two cards yeah you know that's all the seven of wands the seven of wands is leo energy and i definitely get this energy it's that brave heart energy so we have the hair strength take time to make clear decisions bring awareness and light to the situation and we have kangaroo courage you are being tested have faith and stand in your truth i did tell you know what you what you are putting your heart and soul in it is going to bring some milestone achievement this month it feels that you won't see it now but it will become clear so i hope you enjoyed the reading pisces if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you